Okay, this is a Goldac LC-6A pipe and cable locator. Uh, this is the transmitter. You turn the transmitter on, there's an on-off switch here, you pull it out. Uh, it's currently in a pulse mode. There's two settings, two power settings, a high and a low. There's also a direct output where you would plug in your, your uh, cables, your clamps. When you plug the, the clamp in, it disconnects the, uh, the antenna, which is located around the perimeter of the unit. It goes down and around the case. Uh, the transmitter has also got a battery test in it. You can push that. It's got a fresh set of batteries in it, so it's in the blue or the green, you should say. Uh, these have uh, a 9 volt 6 cell uh, C type battery in them. Now, this is the This is the receiver. The receiver also seconds as a leak detector. Uh, it's got a jack here to plug in a microphone. Uh, I don't have a microphone available, but uh, you can demonstrate it by putting a voice microphone in. Let me turn the transmitter off a second. If you turn it on, the uh, sensitivity control acts as a volume control. If you turn the microphone on, it's getting a lot of feedback. Too much feedback here. Normally, you would hook a uh, a, uh, a microphone that's used to detect leaks and pipes. And uh, you put that on the ground and you would use the meter over here to get a reference level. And as you went along the ground and the thing peaked, the meter peaked, you would find out exactly where the, uh, the leak is. It's, uh, it, it's a very uh, tough uh, thing to do, finding leaks on the ground. They put out a certain freq frequency signature. Uh, to find that leak. Let me turn the transmitter on. Turn. You see it's got a very loud sound to it. The transmitter's in uh, a pulse mode. So it's putting out a pulse. I flip this to steady. It's out a steady state. I mean, I got the transmitter real close to the receiver, so. That's on the low setting. It's also got a headphone jack. It's also got a battery test. If you press the battery test. So that's the uh, LC6A Goldac pipe and cable locator with a leak detector built in. There's a connection here for a handle. Now the handle is like a four foot handle that slips inside here into the transmitter. <clears throat> and on the receiver end there's a hole to fit the other end of the handle. The handle is about four feet long and the transmitter and the receiver sit perpendicular to each other. <clears throat> so the transmitter uh, transmit a, a signal perpendicular to the earth and uh, transmits the magnetic field running at 116 kilohertz down into the ground and uh, the receiver picks up the, the pipe or the cable um, as uh, parallel to the ground. I've seen uh, when you use the handle method it sort of acts like a big metal detector 
and I've seen people use these to find uh, deep earth objects uh, people who are looking for treasure um, that sort of thing in a, in a the items are very deep underground uh, you can use these to uh, to find you know metal ten feet down um, I mean the, the, the magnetic strength of these uh, locators is quite quite great uh, with the uh, transmitter and in, in, in located on the high setting and the receiver set on the high setting 50 feet is not out of the question of course 100 and these things operate at around 116 kilohertz or so uh, that signal is going to attenuate in the ground but it does go down pretty deep uh, through air 116 kilohertz 50 feet is quite a quite a distance uh, they're using these a lot in uh, Europe, Eastern Europe, to find um, World War II items that have been buried for 60, 70 years now. And they're finding, you know, old helmets, machine guns, bullets, and such. And uh, they use the on-handle method to find these items. And uh, so it's a pretty versatile um, item. And... Uh, and they're pretty handy.